right, today I'm at Digger's Dungeon. Uh, Dad has called all forces, meaning me, Adam, Kristen Weston, which uh, Adam, Kristen Weston, they had an event this weekend. I did not, so they're flying in today, but I'm coming in early, and we have to get something ready for Easter weekend. We're going to open up the Grave Digger Museum for the first time to the public. Uh, we've been working on it for a while, kind of off and on, but uh, yeah, Dad's laid down a hammer. He said, look, I made you guys, so you got to come here and make this museum with me. But uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to really show you everything because we want you to come here and see it in real life. But you can see a little bit of that and a bunch of stuff over here and then some other stuff. But yeah, so we want you to come here and see this museum for yourself. But we also have to frantically get it ready for the next couple weeks. Uh, no, not next couple weeks, sorry. Next couple days. We got a few days to get this thing ironed out and get it ready for you guys to come here and check it out. So there's a lot of cool stuff, but I don't want to give up all the secrets. You know, you'll get a little bit in the background here and there, but you got to come here and see it. But I'm going to bring you along for the ride. It's going to be a little different from our normal vlogs because I'm going to be videoing uh, selfie style. So, uh, but yeah, we're going to run you through everything going on. I'm going to kind of bring you along for the ride and get ready for our big Easter event weekend. And that, that includes uh, Easter egg hunts, all kinds of fun kid activities and stuff, but yeah, so we got all the guys here. We're gonna try to throw down, get this thing together. Uh, I gotta get, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff prepped for when Chris and Weston and Adam get here tomorrow, because dad has made us a list. And uh, we, the kids have a list, Cliff has a list, uh, dad's got his own list, and then we also have to get other stuff ready on the property. Our whole compound, uh, we've got a, like a, a kid's market, we got a diner. We have the monster truck rides. We have all kinds of stuff, not to mention, also we gotta hide like 10,000 eggs. So yeah, that's uh, a lot going on. A couple of eggs have like hundreds of dollars, $500, big gift certificates to the dungeon, all kinds of stuff. So yeah, if, uh, yeah, you're just coming along for the ride, man. I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna show too much of this place. I'm gonna try my best. But, uh, well, actually I can show you this. Look at this, look at this empty shelf right here. That is gonna be full of every toy ever made, Grave Digger. I'm talking about from whenever the first one was made, I don't even know, definitely way before my time, back in the 80s until 2023. My dad has one, well, more than one, but he has every single toy ever made. Uh, and all kinds of other stuff that you've never seen before, I promise you that, because a lot of stuff I've never seen before. Dad's busting things out of hiding spots I didn't even know he had, but yeah, uh, so. We're gonna get everything ready. It's gonna be a little chaotic. Dad's gonna be definitely harping on us. He's gonna be cracking the whip on, on all the kids. We haven't really, we've helped him out a little bit here and there, kind of hit and miss, but he laid down, laid down a law. This week, we have to get on it. We gotta get this place ready for you guys, ready for our big Easter event. So it's gonna be the kickoff of uh, phase one of the Gravedigger Museum. I had to shop. So we gotta do, we gotta wipe down the trucks. We gotta put some headlights in grandma in the swim truck, which is, this is what we call the swim truck. It's number two. Uh, it's like the number two, like the race truck uh, that got converted into what it is now. Big tall truck made to float in the water. That is grandma. Old girl, that's the OG right there. Um, and then we're going to scotch right the rust off the frame and oil it up as well on mainly this one. That one we, uh, we actually already kind of redid the frame on on the uh, old grandma there we redid that frame this one is basically just been sitting out for years it's been like one that everybody's been taking pictures with so uh it's in not great shape but we're gonna have to scuff the frame up rub uh maybe we'll see what the sweet patina does on that a little bit of a little bit of juice on there to have it give it a nice sheen and then um get the motor and other items for the chassis what chassis maybe that, so he's got a motor in this one, dual Predators on it. Get a little feast drives on that, bam. But they did it the wrong way though. They're, they're, they're turned sideways, they need to be turned, uh, whatever the other way, basically they need to be turned 90 degrees to be proper. But yeah, old school Predators, that's good. Here's another set of them over here. See, they're turned right. So you, uh, they're like kind of like wide on the wider setting, but oh yeah. But if we're putting, uh, get a motor and other items for a chassis, maybe it's this one. So this is going to uh, represent basically the first ever Gravedigger truck called Gravedigger getting built. 
which was a 1950 Ford. We have a remake of it right here. Um, so when the name Gravedigger came about was when he was building this truck and his the his boss's son, which was his friend at the granary, Kurtuck Grain, talked crap to my dad while he was sewing bags of, of uh, like weed or something like that. So we're setting up that setup right here. Talked crap to dad while they're in there at the grain bin. Said that this thing was a piece of junk and his brand new nice truck was gonna tear him up. My dad really got offended actually, cause he was proud of his thing. You know, he just have a lot of money. Well, he said, I'm gonna take this junk and dig you a grave. And everybody was ooh, 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 hooping and hollering because my dad talked back to him. And uh, so they took his time card, which I'm looking around cause dad somewhere, we're still trying to get everything organized in here, but somewhere in here is one of the, like a exact version of the time card stamper deal that they wrote Gravedigger on his time card, the other co-workers did. So then dad went home to, you know, the thing was kind of in a state like this. It was probably a little bit farther along actually, and spray bombed Gravedigger on the side. So it didn't even look like this. It was actually like gray primer and like there was like different colors and stuff like that. It was just put together. And he took a black spray bomb, just single line, wrote Gravedigger on the side, which there's gonna be plenty of pictures and all kinds of stuff in here to show you that. And that's where the name actually came from. And he went out there in the field and dug the grave. He specked them. The kid, the, the farm boy, his best friend, couldn't make it through. Dad took the old junk, dug him a grave. All right, well, uh, first thing I'm gonna try to do today is get the motor for the new chassis, like the 35th anniversary chassis. Uh, come on, Biscuit. Bring your dog to work day. But we have the chassis and the motor from the last time my dad ever ran. And uh, so I'm sneaking in the engine. I'm not really sneaking in, I'm already busted. But we have that engine. This is the motor that dad ran the last time uh, he ever drove. So we're gonna put this thing over there on display. We got a display blower and injector hat. And uh, we got some other stuff, some cool zoomies. Cause you know, we like zoomies for sure. But yeah, so I'm gonna figure this out. I'm stealing this. He doesn't care. He doesn't pay attention to me. I just blow up motors all the That's time. That's my retirement. Where are you going, my retirement? <laughs> Good. decided to show up. Hey man, I've been here. No, yeah, and I heard you was rolling. And look who else snuck in while I was in the engine room. Hey. Well, let me see this list you got going. Oh, yeah. Pretty hectic looking, huh? Yeah, I'm pretty busy today. <laughs> um, no, so uh, what I'm doing today is I'm actually getting the timeline from dad today because as we're setting up in the shop in here, we need to put out these tombstones that tell the story of Gravedigger and the only person in this world that knows the real story of Gravedigger is dad. So I have to pick his brain today. And that's gonna be fun because he's already got a million things going on. Yeah, he's just definitely spinning <laughs> out right now. Right, so one of the other projects that kind of has already like managed a little bit, but we got to figure out too is uh, we're scanning a bunch, which we've already done, scanning a bunch of photos and uh, trying to figure out a way to like display some photos. And there's tons of like big blown up photos that we have out there. I mean, just piles of them. This is. The King, extreme King Sling area, right? It's where you get you like briefed on, um, you know, getting ready to ride and getting fitted for your fire suit and stuff. But uh, yeah, there's like insanely, insane amount of photos here. Me and Adam back in the day, chilling up on the trucks, dad holding us, red primer, mud bogging. Oh, 81 era. This is like pre Gravedigger right here almost. Look, there it is right here. It's got Gravedigger on the side, hand painted. That was like the first time I actually had the name Gravedigger. What was it, Mudweiser? Yeah, dad had some other trucks too and this other mud truck was called Mudweiser. And it uh, just a two wheel drive mud truck. And at one time it had, 
that sucker's good. Mm -hmm. There it is, that's a good prime Charlotte, that sucker right there. So one time it had all the good bad ugly too. Yep, another one of his rigs, that square, man. That thing was, that was new body style back then. That was like brand new truck. So this thing's only got one motor in this picture right here. You can see like one set of exhaust, but this was one of the first ones that dad, he'd hooked two stock big block Chevrolets back like crank to crank for that thing. And it was like, that sucker was bad. Oh man, it had two 300 horsepower motors hooked crank to crank, it was crazy. There you go, here's another old one. It says great for Small tire class, yeah. Yeah, that was like the OG, OG. It's like, and look, it's got a different bed. That's got a mm -hmm. bed off of a Jeep Kaiser. So it's a, a Jeep Kaiser axles and uh, which is what's in it now, but Jeep Kaiser bed too off like a military Kaiser. You do a cap swap or? No, it's the, it's the stock it's frame. frame. It just used a different stuff. Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, swimming with information right now. Um, I know uh, all the timelines and specs of all the vehicles from 1982 to 1987 currently, so. Yeah, so the only thing that I have left to do is spec the swim truck and chassis number 30 over there, dad's last chassis. And then the timeline's done. So I nice. have two more tombstones to go. You clock it in tomorrow? Perhaps might be pulling OT tonight, ah. <laughs> so I don't have to see it tomorrow. <laughs> no, you're not. You're coming in here tomorrow. What are we doing tomorrow? Where we didn't, we're leaving off, not unless you're gonna go ahead and finish. We only have two these. trucks, we can't do them tonight at the dinner table. You can't do them. I would rather do them with you at the dinner table. Ryan, No, I, I, I did it accidentally. I was trying to program you. Okay, man. All right, bye. Really good state worker. Yeah, dude, I'm killing it. All right, so me and Weston have escaped back to the uh, dad's like secret stash of stuff, and uh, we got hold on, like this this one right here, first one we pulled out, uh, 1984 Bodacious, which is a big thing by us. It used to be, it's done now, but first place mud bog, September 15th and 16th, 1984. This is a mole run. This is a punch in the face trophy, 1987. Punch in the face? What's that mean? It's hard luck trophy. That's what ah. it says. Mole run mud race, 1987. Uh, Grave digger four by four with a Monster Truck Madness CD in it. Oh no way! That yeah. was the original game. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, uh, in recognition of the lasting contribution that you have made to Microsoft history. Grave digger four by four. Freaking four. straight from Bill Gates. Also getting, so while we're also getting the museum ready for Easter weekend, we're also getting our diner ready. Uh, so dad's wanting to try a new way of basically not letting people inside, but to have like a walk-up window. So we got walk-up windows at the diner now. There's one to order, one to pick up from. And we did a big, huge concrete pad for a big outdoor eating space. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try this out at Digger's Diner now. Hopefully open up some more kitchen. We'll be able to use the rest of the inside of the diner for prep, for milkshakes, for ice cream, all that kind of stuff. But dad's got the code to get into the ice cream cooler. <laughs> There's no ice cream to eat at all. I'm getting ready to get a fresh batch in here though. I used to come in here after school and make egg sandwiches and then leave the dishes in the sink and then all the ladies would be mad at it whoever the next morning for not doing dishes, but it was just me. And the screens, we don't need the screens because all they do is get bugs in them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the screen out and I'm going to make an insert so that they can put, put their... Special board behind. That's what they're going to do. The girls can put the special board in every morning and go like this and put it back. Tacos, burritos, fritos, bandidos, and all that stuff, you know. But this will take orders here and they receive them down there. So Easter weekend, like I said, is a big weekend, so we'll have that. Uh, we wanna have that ready for this, because this is like probably 1,000, 1,500 people come here to hunt Easter eggs. We hide 10,000 eggs. We have all kinds of classes for different kids, different age groups, all that stuff. And uh, we wanna be, be able to open up the museum for the first time for those fans, because they're fans that have came to the property multiple times for Easter egg hunt, 
and they, uh, you know, they love Grave Digger. They love hanging out with us, the family, and all that stuff. So we want to give it to those fans. They're some of our most loyal fans, and uh, yeah, let them check out all this stuff. 